Day 14, um, finally out of the tent. It's probably about noon. And it felt like it wasn't windy today because I set my tent up behind a large sand dune, dug into a snow drift and built a snow block wall. Uh, but there's still pretty strong wind kicking out here um, as soon as I walk away from the cover. Nothing like yesterday though. Trying to make it 15 clicks um, and I'm feeling like man is it gonna be another freeze your ass off day like fingers crossed the weather doesn't um, take a dive again because uh, having to frantically build a shelter like I did last night um, when you're about to freeze to death is not uh, the ideal situation we'll say and I don't think there's much hard pack snow out there on uh, Glacier and Summit Lake which I'm gonna be crossing Anyways, uh, I guess that yeah, I guess just pack up and get the hell out of here. It always takes a little while, but um, before long I should be at the uh, mouth of the Weasel River. So that's the plan. I'm a little behind schedule. I'm gonna have to up my uh, daily distance to at least 15k a day and hope for good weather. And if I have bad weather, yeah, I might have to reschedule my flights. Uh, nothing I can do. There's you know pretty much four days so far where I couldn't travel and that really ups your daily distance when that happens um, But in between I've had some great days, so I can't complain um, Anyways, uh, yeah, so cozy little spot it turned out to be last night and time to get moving on looks like the scenery is gonna be just crazy cool Glacier Lake. The winds aren't quite as strong as they were this morning, which was really slowing me down. But I think I'm going to make it my 15 clicks today. I'm trying not to travel too fast. I'm trying not to build up a sweat, which is very hard to do. <clears throat> Anyways, this lake is just amazing. It's just surrounded by huge mountains, just with absolute pointy peaks flanking it on either side. It's just absolutely beautiful. Really, really cool spot here.
Come on, Buck. It's okay. This is going to be challenging. You have a pretty sheepish look on your face. But you're being a very good boy. <laughs> Here, what's this? What's this? Buck, what's this? Good boy. Good boy. Well, maybe Buck has uh, mustered up the courage to pull this off. We will see. Good boy, Buck. But uh, if he if he doesn't want to do it, I'll just pull his toboggan so we don't waste too much time here. Once his toboggan is on the ice, he's fine. But it's when his toboggan's on snow and his feet are on the ice that he slips. So it looks like he'll just find his way around like a maze. I'm coming. I'm coming. How cute is that, eh? <laughs> Are you gonna do it, Buck? Come on, Buck, you can do it. Are you gonna do it? Good boy! Good boy!
top of it being hard to get his sledge off a snowdrift when his feet are on the ice, Buck has a fear of walking on clear ice. This is because he fell through thin, clear ice when he was just a puppy. By being patient and coaxing him along with treats and reassurance, Buck was amazingly able to overcome his fear in a short period of time, and he was very proud of himself. think he would get over his fear of walking on glare ice that much and he not only got over it but he figured out how to manage himself and balance and not slip and fall which is amazing. Everything is just so much more easier and more enjoyable when there's not just that ripping ice wind, let me tell you. Look, I don't know if I can capture this, but this place is just ridiculously epic, man. Like, otherworldly. It's so cool. How cool would it be to play a game of pond hockey here, eh? Amazing. Awesome. Well, this is home for the night, uh, right where the Weasel River uh, leaves Summit Lake. Really beautiful spot. There's a haze moving in over the mountains and I'm just gonna set up right here Thankfully the wind died down and it's not too cold out uh, So that's great um, Yeah, so good day today after today I have four more days left to make it all the way to Pang But it's down river and apparently uh, the weasel is pretty much glare ice uh, So um, I should be able to travel pretty quickly, which is great news. Anyways, here we go getting the tent set up again
Okay, well, I got my tent set up. It's probably about 8 o'clock. Made it about 13 kilometers today, not bad. Uh, but uh, yeah, beautiful spot and I'm hoping the weather stays like this. Um, the wind died down, it just makes things so much less terrifying and so much more enjoyable when there's not just a ripping wind. Right now it's just everywhere you look, it's just dramatic scenery. There's a haze has rolled in, but it's very still and the mountains are just like coming out of the fog. It's super cool. Uh, so I think, yeah, I think um, I have four days left to get to Pang. Um, and uh, I think I should be able to do it if conditions don't get uh, scary again. I think I should be able to do it no problem. So I'm excited for the rest of this journey and it's looking like the next stretch is going to be the most impressive too, which is awesome. dog in there. Well, here I am in the tent. I'm just going to fire up the stove. Daily routine. Hmm. 